Hello and welcome back to the flight deck of the Boeing 777. Today we are in the middle of the Atlantic, in the middle of nowhere, with clear weather, flying at 5,000 feet and 290 knots indicated. So what I want to show today in this video is a description of the full guard oscillation of this aircraft. So how do we do this? The first thing I want to do is clear up my flight director because it's interfering really, I don't need it. Turn the flight path vector on to have a reference. Now we want to make sure that the hardware throttle is synced in sync with our aircraft thrust levers. And this is a simulator thing. It doesn't we don't need to do this in the real aircraft of course. So right there it's in sync. Don't touch it. It's important to keep constant thrust throughout this maneuver. And now what we're going to do is disconnect the auto throttle. In fact I will disconnect it through the button on the simulation just not to touch my hardware. Two clicks to silence the alarm. So now we disconnect the autopilot. Two clicks. You see this aircraft is trimmed for 290 knots. There you see the blue little fly-by-wire indication. And now we're going to bring the aircraft out of its equilibrium condition. And how do we do that? Well, through a elevator input like this one. There it is. Let's start the clock. Disregard the altitude alert. Now, what is the Foucault oscillation? The Foucault oscillation is one of two longitudinal modes that any aircraft displays, really. The other one being the short period oscillation. The Foucault oscillation, or also long period oscillation, is characterized by having a constant angle of attack, or more or less constant angle of attack throughout. You see, I think we started with 2.8 degrees, and we are... This is uh, changing, but ideally the angle of attack will remain constant. Now, what the aircraft does throughout the oscillation is interchange potential energy in the form of altitude with kinetic energy in the form of airspeed. Hopefully, the aircraft will regain its original 5,000 feet and 290 knots. So, see, let's see if that happens. I will leave some links in the description below. To any of you who are interested about the mathematical details behind this oscillation, I will also leave a reference. And the Foucault oscillation is derived from the equations of motion of aircraft and uh, the mathematical details behind it are really not so trivial. So you need to know a bit of uh, eigenvalues, eigenvectors and complex numbers. But anyway, essentially the, the curve that you get, the, the path that the aircraft is flying, is a damped sinusoidal curve. That means it's a sinus curve, a sinus wave, multiplied by a uh, convergent exponential curve. Now, in this aircraft it's convergent, meaning that the aircraft is stable. And that's good, because aircraft designers have to make sure that uh, aircrafts are stable, that they respond to an elevator input or to any this to any disruptancy is stable. So you see we've regained pretty much our original 5000 feet right there and our original 290 knots and the angle of attack has remained pretty much unchanged throughout 2.8. There we see it's stable at 5000 and 290. If you want to do this yourself, let's stop the clock. So you see more or less three minutes have passed since the original input. And after three minutes, the aircraft has regained its equilibrium condition. I found after many 
trials that it's best to to try it at uh, low weight and low altitude. And the speed 290 just provides uh, it's a good speed not to come get into the overspeed region, neither to stall the aircraft. So that's it. I hope you found this video interesting. And now you can go ahead and try it yourself. See you. Bye-bye.